Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. We need to recognize and pay attention to the fact that the coming of the Messiah and this development, this new era we're about to enter that the world is going into, that we all know something is changing in the world. The past few years things have been really changing rapidly in the world and even though after the, the lockdown and all these things people think the world is coming back to normal, let me tell you friends, it's not going back to normal. We're going into a new era, the era of the coming of the Mashiach, and we are in the process of this unfolding. So we have to understand that the coming of Mashiach and the internet and technology are greatly in, t intertwined. There's, a, there's a, a prophecy, there's a saying, I should say, there's a, so to speak, a, a godly revelation in the book of the Zohar, a prophecy, prediction that says that, that we're gonna that in the what corresponds to the 1700s slash 1800s there's gonna be an opening of the fountains from above and the fountains from below. The fountains from above are the secret of Torah Hasidus. The fountains from below are technology, and these two factors, the revelations of the secrets of the Torah, the inner Torah, which is Kabbalah and Hasidus, the inner spirituality of the Torah, and the development of technology, these two factors, driving factors, will accelerate and facilitate the coming of the Mashiach. So now everyone's speaking about AI. AI, chat GPT and all these things that they predict that they can, you know, all these things are a little taste of us to understand what it's going to be like when Mashiach comes. That really technology, even if you ask chat GPT, you can get some interesting information about Torah, Kabbalah, Hasidus, and all these things are, are very interesting because this is a little taste into the Messianic era when the Messiah comes the world itself will reveal godliness. The truth is, technology is meant to reveal God. It's only that we have free will, so sometimes people use it for negative things, but really its ultimate purpose is to reveal God and to connect the world to the divine. An analogy I wanted to think about this, which also it could serve to teach us about God, using analogies about technology. You know, you could think about a fire, you could think about an engine, you could think about all these different things to think about mitzvahs and good deeds and the coming of the Messiah and serving God and bringing light into the world. So one example I really thought of that's interesting is to understand, obviously this is an analogy, but to understand how our soul is a part of God. Our soul is a spark of God, and yet God is not just limited to us as well. It's like a phone and the internet at large. A phone or a computer connects to the internet. And the internet is literally a part of it. And it, it is fully revealing the internet. It is fully giving you access to the official internet. It is a part, one with the internet. But the internet is not limited to that specific phone. It's, it can be within many different phones at the same time. And, you know, if something happens to that phone, the internet itself is not does not lack anything from it if that phone is turned off or disconnected from the internet obviously so to speak so that's like an analogy so to speak because why did i say so to speak because it's just an analogy you have to kind of take it as an analogy and, and realize that the reality of it is much deeper but still that this is an analogy for like our soul and god our soul is like the phone and god is like and the internet is compared to like god in this case the internet at large that our soul is fully connected to God and is a spark of God itself but yet at the same time God is beyond us as well and is not limited to us as well not limited to each one of us individually he can be everywhere at the same time connected to all at the same time it really goes much deeper because our soul is truly one with God so I think we could use these analogies with you know Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and all these connections, wireless, satellite transmissions to understand revelations of God and spirituality and how in this world, this world is encoded with divine letters. This is what we learned in Tanya, in the daily Tanya over the past few days, that it's really connected to these few days right now. It's connected to always, but specifically now even more so, that we learned that the whole world is created with divine letters. Just like on a website, you create a coding for a website and an application, so too this world has spiritual coding, and the coding is divine letters. And the divine letters have to go through many different, godly light has to go through many different contraptions and diffusions so that it gets hidden and hidden through more covers and layers and layers till we get to this physical world. Because if we were to experience directly from the divine letters themselves, from God's speech itself, from God himself, that revelation, if we were to experience it from him directly, uh, without any filters, 
it would be too much and we would lose we would be blown out of existence we would not be able to handle this experience the world as we know it would be would not exist but through our torah through our service of god we open the we widen the vessel of this world we expand this world we make it a holier place and we prepare it for the coming Mashiach when it will be able to experience directly from God, a revelation directly from God. Of course, we know God is here and there's nothing else besides Him. The only thing is sometimes we experience a hiddenness of God. When the Messiah comes, the hiddenness is going to be taken away and there's going to be a direct revelation of God without any layers. And that's through our service now, of refining this world and refining ourselves. So let's look into this. Let's take this into our hearts. May God bless you. May you experience the full revelation today. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. You can help support us below. Do a little bit more today so that before tomorrow the Messiah will already be here.